What's up everybody, it's your boy KB here with one more video, not the last video, but just one more for now, on embroidery. Today, we're going to be embroidering on the back neck area of this sweatshirt right here. Nothing crazy, but you know, there's some little things in there that you got to do to make sure everything comes out clean. And then at the end, we'll add some of this tender touch, which I've uh, shown in previous videos. But we'll do it again today because there's a, a spot where... It's, it's pretty like delicate like you ever get a tag that scratches the back of your neck it's kind of itchy it's irritating so you want to make sure that your uh, your customer or whatever is comfortable wearing your sweatshirt or else it's like it might look nice but if if it's annoying and irritating on their skin they're not gonna wear it it's useless so we're gonna add that at the end make sure it looks crisp clean and uh, that everything's cool I'm wearing the hat from the video that we did last so if you guys want to see that I'll uh, link it up there if anybody's interested 3d puff Clean. but anyways without any further ado let's go to the table we're gonna cut the stabilizer and place it we're gonna measure the midpoint and hoop I had this piece of stabilizer uh, cut out already but it's too big I feel like it needs to be kind of small to fit uh, comfortably in the neck or else these corners are gonna kind of like get in the way when they hit here one smaller to get the stabilizer as high up as possible because we're trying to hoop this also as high up here because if you hoop down here the design only fits on this bottom part and you know that's too low i wouldn't call that the neck i'm calling that's the back right there i'm gonna try to find a way to get this camera rigged up so it's like shooting directly from from above instead of from an angle i feel like it's a little a little awkward hopefully it's not too bad for you guys all right here we're gonna take the midpoint of the collar which i think it's 3.5 around here I used to measure across here but most of the time sweaters are not made perfectly and what's important it's that it's in the back of your neck this the width of this doesn't matter like it's midpoint because it might be a little bit off here which is not the neck part so just go based off this right here I put the the stabilizer uh, corner let's see if that if that helps if it if there's enough area under there for the hoop to grab onto it using this classic all right yeah i think we'll be good let's hoop this thing also i mean this is pretty much practice and trial and error as well just trying to get this as straight as possible since the since we are grabbing the this part of the collar it's thicker so i have to loosen up the the hoop at the bottom probably not the best angle here but before i before i tighten it i also i kind of like hold it down a little bit and pull on the collar just so it's not super loose so here it is uh what i was talking about was this here it always creases up a little bit it's no big deal because we're going to be more on this bottom part but still you want to like tug it a little bit stretch it out and that's the design right there most dope before i adjust the height of it i just want to make sure that i'm right on the the mark spot right there then give it a good old trace Really just to make, I'm, I'm trying to, at this point, I'm trying to go as high as possible without hitting the, the hoop. Right there, I think it hits on both sides, so I'm going to lower it just a little bit. It's, it's not hitting as it is, but just to be safe, I'm going to lower it. Here we have it. We'll do 650. We just finished up here 
it took longer than expected i don't know why after like maybe a couple color changes it would stop it's got to be some kind of setting so i'd have to keep on pressing start button to keep going but either way we're done i would probably i think i have to like uh put the density a little bit higher i don't know if you guys can see but there's a few spots where the gray of the sweatshirt is showing luckily it's black and they have i have a black fabric marker as well don't overdo it we just do like some spots where there's too much sweater so, uh showing i think we got it right on the money it's centered it's not too low i like it i'm gonna i'm not gonna show it i'm gonna cut the backing i'm gonna get the other stuff ready and we're gonna iron it on show you guys how i do it unfortunately no big deal but i hooped the tag in there as well see that but i'm just gonna rip it off pretty much coming off on its own from there whoops here it is we want to make sure you cut a piece big enough to cover the area I think it's this way. So it has a a side with uh, glue and a side without glue. I always forget which side is which, but you can find out right away. I had to disconnect the ring light to connect the uh, the iron, but I think you guys can still see. So yeah, literally to test it out, you just hold it down, you just press it down on it. If you were to have the glue side up, then it would pull up with your iron. So we're good, it, it already stuck a bit. We're going to go ahead and iron the rest. Pressing firmly. Then I have to cut this. Now none of the stitching, none of the stabilizer, the strings are going to poke. It's all like pretty smooth. There it is, guys. I think it looks great. What do you guys think? Not too bad, eh? And then um, if you're selling something with a design, the front, a sweatshirt or whatever, uh, then by adding, like we did last time on the neck or like on uh, the back part of the neck with this one, then you could charge extra to put that design, which is good because you're not necessarily wasting or having to use another sweatshirt you're not adding on to the shipping you're just simply adding on to the same product and uh, giving it more value so I think it's always good to give it a little um, extra touch or even for the hat you know same thing when you do something on the side you're charging a few bucks more because of that without having to spend many more materials but that's it for this video guys appreciate it um, I'm gonna try to put my email in the description I want to start doing some of your guys' stuff if you if you would be interested in that. You could email me your uh, images or help out with some issues that uh, you might have and I'll digitize it and we could do a whole video on it. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. So let me know. I'll link my email down below and uh, we'll see where it goes. You guys have been showing great support. Uh, we really appreciate it. So thank you guys uh, for this video. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Deuces.